Hey guys, so today's video is very, very, very exciting. I've got another dollar store video for you guys and I'm so excited because this is definitely a hit. A very, like, I'm so impressed by these products. These are the Mariposa eyeshadow palettes. Yes, I said eyeshadow palettes and these retail for three bucks. What? Yes, I said three bucks, and I did get all the shades right here. These are all powder um, eyeshadows. Uh, there's five palettes, and there are no matte shades, but the shimmer shades are amazing. For the most part, there are some misses in every palette, but for three bucks, these are so worth it just for those couple of shades that are really good. So let's just get right on into it. As I mentioned, these are from the brand Mariposa. Um, and I do have all five palettes, so let's just go through each one. The first palette I have here is the All Natural palette, and this one is so, so pretty. Like, it's all natural shades. I do have to say from the gold shade on are the really good shades. These first few shades I don't really like. Um, as you guys will see in the swatches, they're not as pigmented as the last couple shades so that's the first palette then we've got this palette which I mentioned in my last monthly favorites video um, this is the dramatic shades eyeshadow palette as you can see you have some fun shades to play with along with some really warm tone shades which are really in trend right now I've been using this purple a lot which I mentioned in my monthly favorites but this palette is really, really pretty and I like it as well. Next, we've got the Shimmering Eyes. I would say this is, would have to be the weakest palette out of the bunch. But if you're looking to play around with some really fun colors, definitely pick this up. So that's it right here. And then we've got the Smoky Eyeshadow Palette, which I really like the color section in here. Um, and this has some good shades as well. Then we've got the Metallic Chic Palette, um, and this is what this one looks like. And I really like the color selection in here as well. So, formula on these palettes. I like them. There are some shadows in here that I'm like, why aren't these high-end shadows? Like, literally, there are a few shadows in here, but that I'm like, oh my god, like, oh my god. I am wearing the shadows from these palettes on my eyes today and I really like the look that turned out. Um, I would say use these shadows wet. They work so much better wet. Some of the shades you don't need wet but most of them do it wet and they are amazing. Um, you can use water if you don't have anything else. It will work just as fine but I like using the Wet n Wild setting spray or I just like splash a little water on my hand, on the back of my hand, take a brush, wet it, and then apply the eyeshadow after I pick it up with the brush. So wet, they work amazing. And um, even if you're buying these palettes just to have a little more color into your collection or you're just buying them, you know you don't use eyeshadow a lot and you just want some eyeshadow in your collection, these are definitely um, something you should pick up. Even if you have a lot of makeup and you just want to try out some really inexpensive palettes, go with these. They are really, really good. So let's get into these swatches. Okay, so let's start off with the All Naturel palette. This is definitely one of my favorite palettes out of the bunch. I have to say the first highlight shades are not my favorite, but once you get into these gold um, and more bronzy tone shades, I really like these. Like this one right here is definitely one of my favorites, and so is this next one. I use these ones all the time. They are so pigmented and they apply on the lid so easily. And then this is a really pretty deep brown that I also like. And the rest of these shades are also pretty good, but it's just the first couple shades that aren't the best in this palette. And next is the Dramatic Shades palette. This is also one of my favorites. This white is definitely better than the last palette, but still not the best. I like this coral shade for smoking out in my lower lash line. Same with this purple shade. I did mention it in my last favorites. And for the other shades, they're not the best shades ever. There's just a couple I like in this palette, like this red cranberry shade right here.
and then we've got the smoky palette this one has to be my favorite out of the bunch it has a really good mix of good shades like this um shiny navy blue shade is so so good and then this plum shade is also amazing so is this copper shade a lot of these shades are really good in this palette so i love it for that and then this shade is so nice it's like a purple with gold undertones in it next we have the shimmering eyes palette and as a whole i'm not really loving this palette um these shades lack in pigmentation and it's just not as good as the other palettes but it does have some fun pops of color And those are all the shades in the Shimmering Eyes palette. Next we have the Metallic Chic palette. I really like this palette. Um, I think it has a really nice color selection. This blue is really nice for also smoking out in the lower lash line. And then this purple shade I really like. And then the last three shades I'd have to say are the strongest shades in this palette. Like this green is really, really nice. And so is this cranberry shade. So as you guys saw in the swatches, I'm pretty sure you guys saw like my favorite shades and stuff. But I'm still going to go over them with you guys. And like which palette I think is the worst out of the bunch or the best out of the bunch and stuff like that. So let's start with the all natural palette. I think this palette is really worth it for those of you who like the warm shimmery shades, which I really, really do. And my obvious favorites are, I really like these two right here. Look at that. Just look at that. Like this is like high quality shadow. And then I also really like these deeper shades over here as you guys saw in the swatches. Um, there are, they are also really, really pretty. Look at that. What? So, yes, from like here to like here, these shades are really, really good. So I think this palette is definitely worth it for those um, like really warm tone shimmery shades. As far as the dramatic eyeshadow palette goes, I think this palette is also really worth it. It has some pops of color, like this coral is not bad, but it's not my favorite, definitely. This purple is one of my favorites for the lower lash line. That was a really bad swatch, but as you can see there. And then I also really like this um, shade right here, which is this cranberry type shade color is really pretty and these two have more of a sheen than a shimmer but this one is really really pretty to build up so that's my favorite shades from this one um from the smoky palette i have quite a few favorite shades and i just want to mention i'm probably i was gonna save this for dupes video but i need to show you guys so see this shade gunmetal right here from the naked palette all right now look over here These are so similar. This the shade I just swatched is the first shade from the Smoky palette. Look at that. And the one from the um, Dollar Store palette is actually more pigmented and like just applies nicer than the Urban Decay one. So so yeah, that shade right here, which is so gorgeous. Look at that. Look how evenly all of these that are my favorites apply. Um, this one right here, this plum shade is absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that plum. Look at that. How could you not say yes to that? And yeah, there's a bunch of other pretty shades in this one, but I also really like, um, this shade right here. It's a mix of silver and blue. So pretty. Look at that. And it has some purple tones in it too. So those are my favorites from the Smoky palette. Highly recommend this one if you're looking for those deep, smoky shades.
fades. <laughs> I have to say the shimmering ice palette is not, I think you should skip on this one. It's not worth it as you can see in the swatches. They don't compare to the other palette. So I don't have actually any favorites from this palette. So I'm just going to kind of skip on that. This one is the metallic chic palette right here. And I bet you can tell my favorites from this one too from the swatches. But I really, really like this um, olive green over here. Look at that. And this red. This deep cherry red. I also like this plum shade. Look at that. Look at those. Look at that pigment, guys. How how could you say no to that? <laughs> Look at that. So those are my favorite shades from the palettes. And as you could see, they all are amazing. Just look at that shimmer. So those are my favorite shades. Highly recommend picking up um yeah, really any of these four palettes, I would skip on the Shimmering Eyes one, but out of the Metallic Chic, the All Natural, the Dramatic Eyes, and the Smoky, you'll find one probably that you like. So as I said in the beginning of this video, these palettes retail for 3 bucks, and there are 12 shades. So you are paying $0.25 cents for each of these shadows. That is so ridiculously cheap. That is crazy. So highly recommend if you like are like, oh, well, I'd only use this shade. Pick up the whole palette, guys. Like, just, just pick it up because there are other shades in here that you'd probably touch once in a while for a certain look or something. So just pick these up. As far as long-lasting, these are pretty long-lasting. They don't crease on me that fast. Um, I would use a primer under and... Again, we are trying to stay nice and budget-friendly. I'm not going to throw out a high-end product right here because these are $3. I would go with the Wet n' Wild primer, which is also $3 because then you could use this under any look you do. Or just take your concealer on top of your eyelids and set it with a your powder, and you can use that as a primer. I find that way these shadows last all day for me or with the primer, they last all day too. So, yes, highly recommend these palettes. Um, They are really, really good for the most part. Not the biggest fan of this one, but these ones are the bomb.com just for these shades that I showed you guys right here. And there are some others that I might have missed that you might have been like, oh my god, in the swatches, like I need that shade in my life. But those are just my favorites. Highly recommend checking out these palettes. I know this was a long one. Uh, long video, but I had a lot to share with you guys. Definitely check them out and tell me if you want to see a tutorial with these shades. Um, and yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure to leave me questions down below or in other videos because I'm thinking of doing a Q&A soon. So leave your questions down below or in future videos or in previous videos because I will be answering them all in a Q&A. So, yes. And, um, yeah, that's it for this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below which palette you would most likely buy or if you have any of these palettes i'd love to know and i will see you in my next video bye guys